Hey, 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 Biscuit bitch. Arcade, hey. we're back, we're playing. We're playing a current game for like the first time in probably ever. Yeah, I mean, it's like... Apart from Refund, I guess. I mean, this isn't actually going out for a couple of weeks, I guess, so, so it's, it's getting progressively less current the, more, yeah. the longer we leave it, but... Oh, well, we were going to record it when it came out, but we were slightly before it came out, so then we couldn't, so now we're doing it this time, and it's like a month later after everyone else, so nobody gives a shit, and then yeah. it's only going to take longer the more episodes come out. Woo! Yeah! So that's right, boys and girls, we're playing... Banjo Kazooie 3, the chameleon strikes. Corin, have, have, have a joke quickly. Uh, I started a joke and didn't finish it. Banjo Kazooie. Perfect, let's go. Alright, we're on main adventure. Can you start a new game file? Alright, that's the one I started. So but let's do this one. The piratey one, where they're both trying to pirate. Pi Sorry, ha! That was an accidental pun. Pilot a ship, except you don't really pilot it, you steer it, but shut up. Yeah, you can't really pilot a pirate ship. Yeah. Your hair looks really spiky today, Mike, I like it. Thanks. Yeah. There was this thing we used to do, you know those stupid things that kids make each other do? Yeah. Like, we used to have this game where, like, you'd, you'd make someone say, I live in a pirate ship, but you'd, like, put a finger in your cheek and pull it out. So you'd go, so you'd try and say it and it's sound like, I live in a pilot ship. Oh. Yeah, and then you'd point at them and go, Ah, you said you live in a pile of shit. Ah. That's quite good. And that's, that's like, that's the apex of comedy when you're like five. Five? Yeah. We were saying... Hey, I, I know I'm developmentally challenged, but no, I'm just, I, I was quite small. You're saying rude words at age five. Sorry, by the way, for any of you who might have heard yeah, that. Yeah, kids I was, know everything. I was drinking a delicious can of... Can't say that out loud, really, but especially these days, like, yeah. like well, kids who grew up with the internet, internet and twerking. Are all of these monsters wearing costumes? Like you know, like kids now, like when they're like ten or eleven and they're starting to get girlfriends. Yeah, yeah. you know their mates gonna be like, "Have you done anal yet?" <laughs> <laughs> like you know, this is the world we live in. And they're gonna be like, um, what do you think? "How old do you think I am?" What fucking eight? Of course I am. <laughs> I'm not a baby. Yeah. Shove my whole fist up and gulch. Mm -mm. Yeah, so there's this whole intro. By the way, my, my computer struggles very slightly with this game. It's very well optimized. It's not a slight on the on the game. It's just my computer's not the best, and it drops frames occasionally. So if the video comes out slightly jerky, it's it's not you. It's us. Wait, that sounds like I'm breaking up with you. Sorry. No, I still love you. Just hang out with us, please. Keep us company. We're so lonely. Keep us company. Nice recovery. Mm. I just realised he's in a gumball machine. Yeah. Two cent gum. I like it. I'm really looking forward to playing it. I played the shit out of this a couple of weeks ago and I haven't had a chance to play it since, so I'm looking forward to having another play. Cool. So, I don't so, you know, know so, so let's talk about this game. So this came out and got, shall we say, mixed reviews. I believe that is a fair way of putting it. Yeah. It seems like the crux of the beef a lot of people have is that it's very... It's an old-fashioned game, yeah. right? And a lot of people were like, oh my god, this is like so not 2017. And then like the other 50% of the people who played it were like, that's literally the fucking point. Yeah. Like, that's why we kickstarted this thing, because it's not... You can't get this kind of thing anymore. Yeah, I believe... I believe, yeah, it is designed to be just like Banjo-Kazooie, and some people were like, oh... It is just like Banjo Kazooie. It's literally Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Like, because I guess, you know, if they changed everything to make it more modern and stuff, it wouldn't be the same. So, it, it, I assume it kind of has lots of the issues you could say that, like, platforming games of that time had as well. Yes. If, uh, but I think it. Because, like, have Rare really made any platformers since then? Not really. I guess the last ones they made... What was the last platform a Rare made? It probably was Conker's Bad Fur Day, or... Because mm. so like, like, there was, like, Cameo, and that wasn't really a platformer. No, like, Grab by the Ghoulies wasn't technically a platformer. Like, it probably was Grab by the Ghoulies, like, even though it wasn't really a platformer. That's probably the closest thing. Mm. I like how they have their own beach towels themed by, the, like, themselves. Mm -hmm. Didn't see too much. Also, there's a tin of multicoloured paint behind them. Oh, yeah, and a book on pants. Well, that's some classic rare. I mean, <laughs> platonic, right there. Ha! <laughs> so this game. So, all right. So. Depends on why you uh, should wear them. I mean, some of you guys know me. You know I'm a big banjo kazooie nut job. 
Right. That sounds like a sex act. It's like a hand job, but anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm a scrote job. <laughs> I love me some banjo kazooie. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I like this game mostly. Mm -hmm. It has some problems. Yeah. And the problems aren't related to how banjo kazooie it is. Oh. It's sort of at, like. They've modernised the concept a little bit, and but most of the problems have come from the modernisation, actually, okay. I think. I'll, I'll, kind of, I'll kind of explain so as we go along. Is that sort of like problems that could have been overlooked back in the day, but stick out way worse now? Or well, problems kind of... that have arisen because they've tried to modernise it? Some and some. Like, this... So I was... I said, I think I said before on the show, I was afraid it was going to suffer from big map fetishism, which it does slightly. Yeah. And my biggest beef with this game is the level design. Okay. Like, the first level is pretty solid. It's a... Like, it would have been a pretty solid Banjo-Kazooie level. Yeah. And then, like, most of the subsequent ones are muddly to, a, to an increasing degree. Uh -huh. Right, we need to go over here and talk to the guy. Say, so, because I kind of imagine that, you know, if it's made by people who made stuff like Banjo Kazooie like 20 years later or whatever, they're just gonna, right, let's fire it up again. And they're like, <laughs> fuck, everything's different. Yeah. And like, they're going to make it in the same way, if that makes sense. So, like, mm -hmm. it's gonna have the same problems. You know, it's, yeah. it's not going to be what it would be like if, you know, it had been a company that's constantly worked on stuff like that for the last 20 years. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Like, may maybe they literally have stopped and picked it all back up again, like, 20 years later. Right, and things are not the same anymore. Yeah. I mean, some of the problems, like, this game does have a fucky camera. Which... I kind of don't mind because they always used to have a yeah, fucking camera. Yeah, a lot of games back in the day used to have fucking cameras. And it's not even that I'm like, man, this camera is garbage, but I'll accept it because it's authentic. I just kind of didn't really notice because, I don't know, I just kind of expected it. It yeah. sort of comes with the territory. Like, if, if someone hadn't said to me, man, this camera is balls, I probably wouldn't have thought about it. Yeah, like, from what I understand, it seems to be people who literally, you know, played so much of Banjo-Kazooie and then see this as being... The game that came after Banjo Kazooie, but like they've really improved a lot, as opposed to the people who are used to the games of these days will be like, this is not so good. Yeah. Oh, getting all the chests. Yeah. Getting a, Get some treasure. A quilly or whatever it's called. Yeah. So we're stuck in tutorial world at the moment. There's so a I... chest there. You missed it. Go back. Okay, I wanted to. I wanted to get that there. Banksy Gaming with Corin. Yeah, that's what I'm he's here for. I'm Tasty Butterfly and she eat me with B to regain health. It's really interesting as well, people worked out some speedrun strats for this game, like, really super quickly. Like, someone worked out how you could beat the game in under an hour, like, within a week of it coming out. Oh, wow. That's always impressive. Yeah, there's some really that. good sequence breaks. So I'm looking forward to trying a couple of small tricks, because they... Like, I started playing the day this came out, obviously. Yeah. And so, like, some of the early skips were discovered after I'd already played through that, so I want to try a few things on this run. Oh, do you I remember I need some to go of up them? here. Yeah. Just... Oh, I don't think I even need to go up there. Yeah. We'll come back to this section later, anyway. Yeah. This is everyone's favourite character, Trouser. Trouser He's Snake, because it's a penis joke! He's literally a Trouser Snake. Oh, you guys. Platonic, they're scamps, aren't they? Yeah, and watch out for the evil twins, cock and balls. <laughs> uh, this is literally just a, you can a, a chicken and two balls. Yeah, a chicken that juggles. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it like it's cock and balls. Uh huh. Where's our book? Blah blah blah. Open the gate. You can skip this, by the way, but it's not actually quicker. Oh. People worked out you don't really save any time by skipping this tutorial section. How, so how do you skip it anyway? Oh, you have to like do some nutty platforming and like climb over the back wall or do something. Or like to fuck about with that. Yeah. Like not a legit way. Right. There's a way to get up here. Hang on, let's see if I can do it. There you go. Oh shit! Oops. Nice one. So you're not supposed to be able to do that. I haven't learned the move to get to the top of this ramp yet. Oh shit! I keep fucking up. I want to stop on the top. Stop on the top. Okay. And then. Is that just a platform full of irradiated goop? Then we can get over here. Wow. Do this shit. Holy shit. And then we can get this, like, health upgrade way early. We should not be up here right now. Cool. So 
So that's fun, right? Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. That's so Banjo Kazooie as well. Like shit that you pick up, like talks to you and says, "Hi, I'm a pickup. This is what I do." That's cool. I love, I've, I, I've always liked. Right. That. What's the safe way down? Charming. Oh, we can skip all the tutorial stuff as well. Yeah. Screw it. Uh, where the fuck are we? Hang on, I don't know. It makes this right playthrough a little bit more unique. Yeah. All right, and you're supposed to go around this whole curve, but you can skip this as well. Do. I'm going to. So what's the plot of this game so far? You were chilling out and you had a book and then it got stolen. Yeah, we had a by magic a, book. By the evil bee and the duck's magic book vacuum. Yeah. Like the, Stole all the books. Yeah, they're... They're planning to monopoly. They're planning to have a monopoly on books, so they've collected all of the world's books. Oh, fair enough. <sighs> There's a way to get up here. I can't remember how to do it. That is quite a bit of slowdown every time you do that. Yeah, it's lagging a bit hardcore, isn't it? There oh, go. there we go. Fucking hell. That took me more tries than it should have, but that's fine. I I like how you are cheating that much. That's quite good. Yeah. Well, we're nearly at the end of the tutorial section, so. That that will be an episode when we get into Hyvru Towers, be. I think. I like the letters coming off. Is that because I don't get it? Because but... books. Are those because they're melting down books? Yeah. Do you reckon he's a spelling bee? That might be the joke. <gasps> I'm not sure. Let's just credit them with that. Sure. Although I'm only seeing like N's and E's and P's. So maybe they're just spelling penny. Hmm, right. Maybe they are, I think they are spelling Penny. Like, maybe the person who made this section was called Penny. Or, like, someone was writing their wife's name in there. Maybe. Like a really Easter egg. I yeah, I think so. Penny. Yeah, well, that was the working title for this game. Pen Penny. <laughs> Penny. Penny. Penny Kazooie. Penny Kazooie. Penny Cassandra. Right, we're in. Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll talk to this fucker next time. Okay, see you chupacabras later. Chupacabras? Yeah. I'm not a Mexican folklore goat sucker. <laughs> you don't know that. Oh, come on, yeah, I am really. Yeah, I know, you can suck my goat. I, I do, I love me a nice succulent goat. You can suck my goat anytime. He is so rude, always on the fucking phone to other people while he's talking to you. Yeah. Sorry, anyway. So we'll catch you guys next time for more ukulele I was gonna do like a radio presenter thing and then I kind of just sounded like I was special sorry I did it a bit wrong okay see you next time cool brilliant see you later Mwah. we do love you though I'm gonna French you quickly here we go yeah. sorry I think I bit off a bit of your mouth okay we're going now bye bye